Hey, this is Jay with Sacred Gaming. Happy Reset Day. How in the world are you guys doing? If you're new to Destiny 2, Reset Day is the day that activities reset and you can do them and earn rewards for doing them. And in fact, powerful rewards for a lot of these for doing them. So I'm gonna go through these. I'm gonna open up the director. Uh, and if you wanna look on the left-hand side, if you pop that up, I press the left trigger to do that on the Xbox. It's the same thing for the PlayStation. But uh, these show you milestones where you can get powerful gear. Instead of just legendary gear, these items are powerful gear and they will drop at a higher power level. So you definitely want to focus in on doing these activities. But first up, we've got Clan XP. You can earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or other world activities. So by participating in these, you can rank up your not only your clan, uh, level, but you can also rank up and do your weekly personal contribution. Once you hit that certain level, then you get a reward that you can pick up and you can get some nice stuff. I've been seeing a lot of nice things drop from ranking that up. Um, your clan as well, if you're not in clan, make sure you join one because if your clan does trials or does the raids, you can get uh, rewards for doing that. But you can see right here, we are on level two at 100,000. You only can earn 100,000 uh, every week with your clan. That just prevents like a 100 person clan just from leveling this up super fast. So make sure you're focused in on those events. You'll rank that up and you'll get some cool things from doing that as well. Now, let me go back into the director and um, check out the next thing, call to arms. This is of course by doing crucible activities. If you go to destinations up here to crucible, uh, by participating in a certain number of events or getting a certain amount of work done, you'll rank that up and you can get a powerful gear item. You go to Lord Shacks at the tower and you can get that. It's usually about 10 matches of quick play or a little bit less than that when you're doing competitive. So you just do that. Make sure you show, look on the left hand side and they'll say, you know, maybe after your first match, 15% done. Then, like I said, go to Lord Checks and you can pick that up. Flashpoint this week is on Titan. Um, so Titan is down here on the bottom left hand side. So you'll go to Titan and you will look for public events. A flashpoint means that the public events, you get better drops from that. Also, and there's none going on of course right now when I'm shooting this, but also too, uh, after you complete about five public events, you'll get a legendary item or a powerful gear legendary item that drops and you can pick that up. Now, oh, there's a public event, perfect timing. So uh, here is a public event, you could mark it and then just fast travel right there and it'll show you where to go. So make sure you do that. Yeah, like I said, better chances of getting uh, exotic drops. And also after you complete five of these, you will get um, a nice thing to drop. Now check out these uh, Titan treasure map things right here. They look like a spade symbol. When you travel down here, there'll be these hidden chests kind of every once in a while throughout the map. So you just pull up your map as you're traveling and walking around down there. You can find these, bring some friends, and those also have a good chance to drop or a better chance to drop exotics. Now, if you want to know where you get your treasure maps, you just go down to the tower and talk to Cade Six and uh, you can purchase them there. I think I pur purchased all of mine, so I don't have any left. Normally they're right here. So make sure you pick up your treasure maps, grab some friends and go find the loot. Now, other than that, um, we also have the Nightfall and the Nightfall this week. Uh, let me go to Destinations, over here to Strikes, and then uh, right here, uh, the Nightfall is on Exodus crash and the modifiers are prism your attacks matching the focused element deal increased damage now uh, Bungie made a change and they actually show you now continually what that damage modifier is so make sure you look on the bottom left hand side it will tell you what that is uh, when you use that particular weapon or a weapon that has that elemental damage it does increase damage if you use a different weapon that has a different elemental it will actually do reduce damage so make sure you're paying attention to that if you don't have that element and i really recommend trying to spread out with your fire team so that you all have the different elements and even running different subclasses that match those elements but if you don't then just switch to your primary weapon that does kinetic damage it doesn't have an element attached to it and it will do normal damage so uh, kinetic and incoming damage is supposed to be unaffected it never feels like that i don't know let me know in the comments section if you agree with that 
um, and that focused element rotates periodically. Other than that, we've got attrition, and I'll try to show you an example of this, but your health and shield regeneration is significantly impaired. I am not looking forward to that. That sounds like uh, not fun. Uh, but defeating enemies may create wells of light, may create wells of light, but there's, here's what these wells of light look like. When you step into them, you'll get a shield charge and everything like that. But like I said, collect these to restore your health and charge your super as well. Um, and then we've got time warp anomalies. Strange anomalies have been detected in the area. Destroy them to release temporal energy and extend the mission timer. So here's what they look like. You just shoot them and it will extend your timer for 30 seconds. And uh, here's another thing I'm not a fan of is a timer in a nightfall. It just feels really rushed and I can't enjoy myself. I don't know, I hate having that timer, but you shoot those things and you can increase that timer and do that. But this is uh, recommended 240 light levels, so make sure you're right around there in order to do these and you'll get uh, some nice loot. Not only at the end of that, you get a, a legendary Ingram that usually drops, but also too, you go back to the tower and you talk to Zalvala and he'll give you some nice rewards for that. But um, that is what uh, you can do this week. Um, trials, oh, I didn't mention trials, I'm sorry. But it looks like uh, from the destinations that Trials is active. Um, it says it's locked, so maybe the Spire access is locked, but um, it looks like from right here, Trials is active. I could be wrong, that's why I wanted to do this one last. Um, I will try to update that in the comments section at the bottom here, but uh, if Trials is active and you can do that, that would be another way that you can earn that powerful gear and really rank up from that 260 light level. But Zer will be back on Friday. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. I'll show you what it has and give you a buying guide and let you know if I would pick up those items. But um, we also have the raid going on and that's over here in the top right. You can do that and get some cool things. Uh, let me know if you've had a chance to beat that. I didn't have much time to do that this weekend. It went away. So I'm looking forward to actually doing the raid this week uh, on all my characters. But um, that's where I'm going to end this video, man. Hope you guys have an awesome week. As always, take care and God bless.